think of a thunderstorm like an engine in a race car. It needs fuel to a thunderstorm that's warm, humid air. The storm burns that fuel to create energy and it releases exhaust in the form of wind and precipitation. A supercell thunderstorm works the same way as a normal thunderstorm, but it has better ventilation, like clean air being fed into a car engine. If the precipitation and cold air exhaust from a storm falls down into the area where fuel is coming into the storm, then the power gets choked and the storm dies. A supercell thunderstorm is able to keep its fuel supply clear of exhaust because the entire storm is rotating. That's the key to a supercell's power. If the supercell engine is working right, it can last much longer than normal thunderstorms, create much larger hail, and the rotation of the storm can work its way all the way to the ground and become a supercell tornado much more powerful than the non-supercell tornadoes that we see most often in Colorado. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News.